Hello, my wildlings, and welcome back to the Derailed Turnabout. In the last episode, we had a few words with Mr. Weaselton, and uh, didn't get all that much from him, except basically what we already knew. And uh, we also have discovered that he's keeping something from us. We're hoping to find some evidence about what that might be in his apartment here, which is uh, surprisingly rather similar to... Uh, one Miss Hop's apartment. I wonder if this is supposed to be that this was Judy's apartment. Now that she's moved, Weaselton has bought it. Or it could be anything. It could just be a coincidence that it looks almost exactly the same. I don't know. But first, let's have a look around, shall we? Anything of interest. There's a bed here. Uh, not the most comfortable looking bed in the world. Uh, perhaps there's something hidden under the covers, a pillow? Nope, nothing. Ah, what about under the mattress? I like to think that there was something under there, it's just he doesn't even want to acknowledge its existence. Uh, he opened it up and there's just a book there. He takes one look at the cover, he's like, nope, nope, nothing there. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, should have seen that coming. Oh well, at least he tried. Is the view any nice? Any good? Any nice? I must admit, despite the apartment's quality, you can't deny the view. All of Zootopia is right outside, ready for the taking. It really is quite the city to see. Well, maybe it's just the fact that anthropomorphic animals are walking about everywhere. Eh, meh. It's not much different than talking magical ponies. Edgeworth was right, I really am too okay with this. Moving on. <coughs> well, I don't suppose you could be too okay with this. I mean, it just is what it is. And if you're going to sit there and panic, you're probably too not okay with this. Hmm. All in all, good luck to you, mate. Because this is weird, even on the best of days. Right. What about the lamp? Nothing of interest here. Damn. What about on this shelf here? Nothing of interest here, damn, okay. Uh, down here. Hmm, looks like something's in the bin. There's always something in the bin. Let's see here. <gasps> it's a letter. Paying Weaselton to meet the writer in the engine compartment of the train. It also tells him to wear gloves? Odd. And finally, the writer wanted this letter destroyed. I guess the bin was Weaselton's idea of destroyed. That's probably a good thing. At least his ineptitude has given me this clue. <coughs> oh, gotta love the ineptitude of people. Makes our job so much easier. So, somebody wanted to meet with Weaselton on the train. That's why he was there that day. I'm willing to bet whoever wrote this also set Weaselton up. Uh, go, the true saboteur. I better keep this handy for the trial. Yes, I also suggest using it to break those locks. Anything else in here? The radiator doesn't look like the best quality in the world. It must get quite cold in here at night. Okay, it's not useful to me, but nice little bit of world building. I doubt there's anything else in here, is there? Uh, about this. Nothing of interest here. Damn. Okay, I think I've found everything in this room. Plus the music. Oh, it's back. Hello. <laughs> uh, there's no one here to talk to, is there? No, I could talk to myself. I mean, I have been this whole time, so don't see why not. Let's head back to the detention centre. Let's uh, give him this letter. A letter... I can check it. Let's have a quick look at it. Mr... <coughs> Who's our mystery voice? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Weaselton, meet me on the Zootopia Express on July the 3rd at 11.40pm. I, I want you to meet me in the engine depart compartment at that exact time. Do this, and one thousand dollars shall be transferred to your account. Uh, oh, and, and make sure to wear gloves. 
a friend. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> anyway, so we've had this letter, let's present it to him. Well, that tells me that you're an idiot. That's what it tells me. Well, that's just rude. Can I try and break the locks? Uh, no. Okay, I guess not. <clears throat> okay, so there's not much... Oh, I can do that here. Dun dun dun. You are not being truthful with me. So let's see if we can break those locks. I was just travelling. So you were just travelling, huh? Yeah, that's all it was. Why do I ha find that hard to believe? Heh, <laughs> maybe your mother dropped you on your head when you were a squirt. Hey! Mr. Weaselton, I can't help you if you don't help me. I didn't do nothing. That's all there is to it. I have evidence showing that you're lying to me. Yeah, sure you do. Oh, I do. Because somebody disagrees with you. This shows your lie. Haha! -ha. There, you lied. Oh god. I don't have time for this. Hey, if you just look at the evidence... Get lost, lawyer! Oh wait, I lose health for that? Oh god, no. Okay, uh... Maybe I need to try something else first. Okay, okay, I don't have anything else. But no, he said somebody, so there must be... I'm looking at the people... Uh, I've got to go find this witness. Okay, never mind. My bad. I'm just going to make a new save here, so that if, in case I lose any more health later, I can just go back. Let's go to the train station. Anything new here? Huh, guess Mr. Savage left. There are still some cops sweeping the area. I bet chicken... Uh, chicken... <laughs> it's chicken nudie! Oh dear. Anyway, I bet they're here, whoever they are. Wait a second. Who's that over there? They're definitely not an officer. Not in that outfit. Is this the witness? <gasps> oh my gosh, hello. Hello. Uh, oh god, I can't... I can't do... I can't do impressions. Uh... Fuck it. Just go with whatever I can. Hello. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, hi. My name is Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Ah, Mr. Wright. I've heard you about... I've heard of you from Mr. Savage, as well as Officers Hops and Wild. Oh, wait. You're going to be defending Weaselton, are you not? Uh, that's right. Tell me, Mr. Wright. Do you believe in your client's innocence? Or is this simply a job to you? Of course I believe in his innocence. This is more than a simple job to me. Ah, good to know. And who exactly are you again? Oh, forgive me. I forget got to introduce myself. My, is, my name is Gazelle. I'm a pop singer. A gazelle named Gazelle. What were her parents thinking? Yeah. What were my parents thinking calling me human? Human McHuman face. That's me. That's my real name. Chris is just a cover. And Wildclaw is also... Well, you knew that Wildclaw wasn't my name. That, that should have been obvious. But no, my name is not Chris. It's Human McHuman face. Wait. Aren't you that super famous star? Wait. You know? Okay, hello, music. Ah, so you do recognise me. I'm pretty sure my gazelle voice is just the same as my Judy's voice. Uh, only from the odd billboard and from what Judy Hops has told me. Wh what are you doing in a place like this? Oh, what do you mean? Where else would I be right now? You realise this is the scene of a crime, right? Ah, you don't know, do you? Uh, no? Know what? Oh, the reason I'm here. I am the witness, after all. But wait, what? You're the witness that saw my client? Hey, yes, I saw Mr. Weaselton in that engine room. I saw nobody else, and moments later the sabotage derailed the train. I see. I see no locks, so she at the very least believes that's the truth. Uh, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh, not at all. It is your job to ask such things. Whatever you need, I am here to provide. Excellent. It's always nice to have a 
a more welcoming witness, one that isn't outright lying or just horrible. <laughs> so, what exactly did you see? Oh, you want more details? Uh, pretty sure you're not Weaselton. I'm going to re read that in Weaselton's voice now. So, you want more details, yes? Uh, if you could. Of course. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, scratchy throat from all the rehearsals. <laughs> right. I, of course, was a passenger on that train. Uh, I was situated right next to the engine compartment. Really? I thought they'd put you in first class. Unless first class is right next to the engine compartment. Is that just because it's warmer there? Maybe. I don't know. Thus, when it happened, I had a front row seat. When what happened? When he did the deed. I missed him enter. He is sneaky, I'll give him that. But hearing him inside, I went to investigate. Then without warning, he burst out of the compartment extremely flustered. I confronted him, and when the train derailed moments later... Oh, and then the train. Yes, I see. Mm, this is going to be a tough testimony in the court. Well, I mean, it's not entirely damning. She didn't see him sabotage the thing, so that's promising, I guess. Ah, oh, Edgeworth is going to think Weaselton did it this... did it with this. Okay, thank you for your time. It was no trouble. Actually, you said you heard him. Yes, I did. Uh, what did you hear him do, exactly? Oh, it's not what he did, it's... but what he said. Said? Uh, yes, when I heard him inside, he was searchingly calling out for someone. C calling out for someone? Ooh, testimony, that's going to be useful. <laughs> Who was he calling out to? Oh, that I do not know. Oh, but I saw nobody else. He was alone. He might have just been... He might have been just calling out to make sure that he was indeed alone in there. Uh, very well. Uh, thank you for this information. Weaselton knows more than he's letting on. What she just said suggests he was meeting with somebody. The true saboteur, perhaps? Mm, I need to find more evidence on this, and soon. Is everything all right, Mr. Wright? Uh, yes, everything's fine. Thank you for your time. Well, I do believe... Yes, here it is, the testimony. She says she saw Weaselton exit the compartment just before the train crashed and hearing him calling out to someone. I'm pretty sure that's the evidence I need to break that first lock. And then the second one with that letter. But for the moment, let's hear more about Gazelle. Me? Yes, the woman beneath the flashy music and advertisements. Oh, honestly, Mr. Wright. I don't know what to tell you. I love music and I love Zootopia. Uh, the city has been very good to me. And I just want to give something back. And through my music, I try to keep Zootopia the beacon of unity between prey and predator it is. That's a nice sentiment. I like to think so, yes. Though, with that Night Howler incident last year, and now this, it saddens me to say, see such constant trouble. It comes and goes, but you have your music to shine a light amidst the darkness. Ah, very well said, Mr. Wright. Ah, what can I say? I honestly just thought of something Mia might say. Does sound like it, yeah. Well, I think we've got all we can out of Gazelle, for now. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see her in court. Back to the detention centre. To have a quick chat with Mr. Weaselton. <laughs> Involving a magic talisman, some locks, and some pretty damning evidence. Yeah, yeah, so you're just travelling, yeah, that's it, why, yeah. Yeah, yeah, stop being so rude the evidence somebody disagrees with you that somebody being international pop star gazelle this shows me exactly what your lie is no normal passenger would be found exiting the engine room uh oh there goes the first lock it's that damn pop star ain't it yeah i went in there 
But it was just to take a look. I didn't touch a thing. She also said you called out to somebody. Who were you expecting? Was any... <clears throat> was anybody found with me, lawyer? I was alone, doing nothing. I had no part in this business. Oh, I think you did. So, you think I did, huh? No, your part was more unwitting. What's that meant to mean? Means you were tricked. Uh, you were tricked and framed, weren't you? Mr. Weaselton? I told you before, I had no part in this. I know that's a lie. I know you were tricked and framed, and this proves it. I found this in your apartment. Wh what? You were told to come to the tra train's engine room that day. At that time. And you were paid quite handsomely. Weaselton, this is the key to proving your innocence. You're not protecting yourself hiding the truth, you're only damaging your chances. Fine, you win! Oh, that was easy enough, once I had all the evidence. <clears throat> Unlock successful. Oh, maybe now he'll be more forthcoming. So, what actually happened, happened Mr. Weaselton? Eh, you pretty much nailed it on the head, Mr. Lawyer. I got this letter come through offering what I couldn't refuse. Money. Wow. All it said was to go into that stupid train and meet with the guy there. It was dark in there, I never saw anybody else. You know the rest. You were set up. The hustler got hustled. Ironic, right? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I better head back to the train station, see if Nick and Judy have found anything useful. Yes, I suppose so. I mean, that didn't really give me anything new, but it's good to hear it from his face hole. Train station. Away! Hello? Anybody here? Uh, things around here seem to have become quiet. Only a few officers remain. Even Gazelle has left. Uh, not, cons uh, not surprising, considering the sun is about to give way to the night. That's oddly poetic. You could have just said it's nearly nightfall or something. Ah, uh, who am I to complain? If you want to be arty and poetic in your own head, you go for it. Hopefully I can find Nick and Judy around here somewhere. Phoenix, there you are. Ah, we were wondering where you... when you were going to show up. Where exactly have you been? Investigating, the usual. Anything good? A bit. I found out Weaselton was, pain, was paid to be there that day. Paid to be there? Honestly, that just sounds like he was paid to sabotage the train. He was meant to meet with someone. That someone framed him. So he fell right into a trap, right? I can't be surprised in all honesty. He, is he the brightest hustler in Zootopia? No. No, he isn't. Still, that might not wash over in court. Since we have no other suspects as of yet. Uh, so you didn't find anything then? Oh, on the contrary. We found some pieces of evidence you might want to see. Here is the first. A gun. Whoa. Uh. What? I don't remember anyone being shot. It lacks any prints. Okay, so not useful, particularly. A, a gun? Yup. And, and the shot it fired was found lodged in the engine itself. But Gazelle didn't hear any bullets fired. So did this happen before? I mean, it, it, presumably. If this is what caused the engine malfunction, it would have happened before Gazelle heard anything from Weaselton. Thus, place meaning that Weaselton wasn't there when the damage was done. This is what sabotaged the engine. And the bullet hit exactly where it needed to for maximum damage. The train didn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh dear, so clearly it's whoever was responsible for the last crime. At least they didn't murder anyone this time. I suppose that's a... Uh, it's good. 
I guess. I mean, they nearly killed a lot of people, so maybe they intended to. Less good. Anyway. But, wait. This wasn't in Gazelle's testimony. Uh, she must have missed it, or... <coughs> no, that's Officer Wild. <coughs> she must have missed it, or mistook the sound for part of the engine's normal function. Either way, it was just after this that Weaselton ran into Gazelle. And then the train derailed soon after, due to the damage done to, the, to its engine. Are there any prints on the gun? Forensic says no. The user was wearing gloves to stop any prints from getting on. And that's why the note said bring gloves. Damn. My thoughts exactly. This doesn't look good for Weaselton. Uh, listen, Phoenix. We have to head back and report to Chief Bogo. The trial will be on the 5th, so we'll tell you if anything comes up. Thanks, Judy. Uh, good luck, Phoenix. Hmm. Well, great. Just great. Ah, oh, I forgot to give Judy a pen back. Damn it. Ah, uh, that's probably not a bad thing. I get the feeling we're going to need it. Examine anything? Ah, uh, I doubt there's anything new here. Is there? Ah, oh, I won't bother. Let's try moving somewhere else. Oh, Jesus, hello, Edgeworth. I was not expecting to see you here so uh, soon. Uh, so, how's your investigation going? I can't ask you that. I can't ask you what to do. You're probably just going to complain at me again. Going to be all salty. Well, we should start at the train station. Been there a few times already, Edgeworth, but uh, thanks, I guess? That much should be obvious, right? All right, sheesh. Yeah, we've been there. The longer we wait, the further away the truth becomes. No wasting time. So wasting time is not something that we should be doing. I get it. As pushy as ever. Kind of useless at the moment. I wonder if I should present anything to him. Nah. Maybe later. There's no one else here to talk to. I think I've found all evidence here. <laughs> Sorry. So, what actually happened to Weaselton? I think I've got everything. There must be something I'm missing then. Where else can I go to? Let's go to Weaselton's apartment. Uh, nothing else to find here, is there? I don't know where to go. Or what to do. Let's try examining random stuff. Nothing new with the train. Not many officers around it now. I no doubt cleanup will occur until the investigation is over with. Oh, well. I guess that means there might be more evidence. Hmm. Now, where might evidence be hiding? Nothing new. Okay. No, still just the train. Anything on the floor? Big note here. Big note here. No, I don't think there's anything else. What am I missing here? Huh. I guess maybe I can present some stuff to Edgeworth. It's the only other thing I can think to do at the moment. Right, I do not have time for this. Okay, just thought I'd ask. Okay, that's useless. Detention center. Try presenting a bullet. Uh, ah, okay. So I did have to present this to someone. <clears throat> what about this bullet? Bullet? A gun was found at the scene of the crime and a bullet was lodged in the engine. Would you know anything about them, Mr. Weaselton? So, that's what it was. What? What was? The sound I heard. <laughs> okay, so it did happen while he was there. Damn, there goes that theory. Hey, you here? I got your message. What do you want to see me about? Is it a job? Is something you need? The money was good, so I'm your weasel. Uh, silence. It's uh, kind of dark in here. I can't see a thing. Stop screwing around. 
Our night vision is limited. It only helps so much, you know. Hmm. Well, that actually made me jump a little. What? Oh, screw this. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is crazy! I gotta get off this thing! Oh, what is going on here? Ah, that's what happened. Ah, you know the rest. Well, why didn't you mention this before? Eh, it must have slipped my mind. How do you forget something like that? Thing is, I never saw the guy or gal who did it. Kind of been normal for it to be... It kind of been normal for it to be dark in there. They dimmed the lights so you couldn't... <coughs> oh, oh wait, that's me. They dimmed the lights so you couldn't see them. And then made their escape in the commotion. Ah, true hustle. I'd be impressed if I weren't the victim. Oh, I now have an idea as to what happened. Uh, but without a lead on the true culprit, this is going to be difficult. Indeed it is. Weaselton, a predator, was framed for this crime. The question is, why and by who? Those answers shall have to be found in court. I just help Edgeworth has found some evidence to correspond with my own. Yeah, it's usually to counteract your own, and usually only revealed at the very last possible minute. <sighs> Edgeworth, you jammy bastard. Oh, hello. I'm so done for. Ah, don't worry, Weaselton. I hear prison food is good this time of year. Nick! Phoenix knows what he's doing. You'll be fine. Says the cop who tried to get the local mafia to ice me. Wait, what? Oh, that's that's not quite what happened. It's a long story. Right. Remind me not to get on her bad side. Oh yes, very true. <laughs> so, we're going to get this show on the road or what? Eager, are we? I just want to get this over with. I might die of boredom otherwise. We're ready to head into the courtroom whenever you are, Phoenix. I'm ready. Let's go. But we'll go in the next episode. I hope you've all enjoyed your stay, and so far we've found quite a lot of evidence. Let's just hope I know how to put it to good use. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.